Assalamu alaikum my people, hopefully you're well and blessed. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've been very inactive, alhamdulillah, I've been very busy as well. You guys probably know from the caption on my social media, it is about my own gym. But the only reason I started here at the basin is because I want to show you where it all started for me. Five years ago, literally started right here. It's one bar. I used to do my pull-ups, muscle-ups there. Push-ups obviously on the floor. And we used to dip right here. All these yellow ladders you see, this used to be our dip bar. So we improv improvised a lot. It was literally a proper street workout. Alhamdulillah, obviously the view on that is nice. So yeah, as I said, man, humble beginnings, man. Started from that one bar. That's what you need, that one bar. And now, big up the basin. Look, the red bars literally came after two, three years of training there alone. And all them brothers that are training at a local park, trust me, dream big, have a vision, man. Have a purpose. And inshallah, with the help of Allah, with hard work, with good people around you, you could achieve it. Alhamdulillah, after four and a half, five years of doing my calisthenics, you know, I own a gym, a calisthenics gym. And that, that's been one of my biggest goals ever since I started training on my fitness, fitness journey. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to do business, so it's a sunnah for us. So we should follow his footsteps. You know, we should strive to have an income for ourselves, you know, but make sure it's halal. So Alhamdulillah, man, you know, all praise to Allah, man. Everything's from Allah. And obviously the people around me as well, Alhamdulillah. And obviously big up the basin, man. Big up the basin movement. This is where it all started. I had a vision from here. And Alhamdulillah, man, my dream came true. You're going to see the gym, inshallah. Rez, you know what to do, my bro. But, now we're in front of the Muscle Basin Gym. So it is in East London, it's in Leightonstone Road, Stratford, Maryland. Um, you can come with the Elizabeth flying. But yeah, look, a little humble, humble gym. Oh, wait, what did they do, Rez? MPV, welcome to the crib. Come through, come through. That's my other partner, Naimo. Nah, 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 that's my other partner. So it's three of us, yeah? That's one of them. What are you saying? Yeah, he's just having some protein wings and that. Yeah, this is a cheat day today. So we've um, got some wings from the local, sponsored by the local PFC. Yeah. Uh, not that great, but we're, we're going to work on it. We've got a customer here quickly, so... Uh, yeah, so as we just serve it. we are serve it. I'm going to show you around. Come through, guys. So right now, we got the little Astro Turf, so you could do a sledge push, sledge pulls. You know, you've got steps. You know, hammers from Gravity Fitness, pick them up, check out um, the description for 10% off. So obviously because um, we still do our legs and our compound stuff, we added two power, lift power lifting platforms. So you can do your bench press, squats, and you can do your deadlifts. Because, you know, compound is important, especially, especially when we're competing with calisthenics. Most of these recent and new comps, they always add compound movements such as weighted back squats. So obviously it's important for us to have that and facilitate that so it helps us with our comp, inshallah. Okay, let me show you something. So this is new. What does that remind you of, Rez? It reminds you of home, innit? Yeah. So we, that's basically like the basin wall. We try and make something at home. We put a bar there. It was a bit too big to put on that side, so we had to kind of put on that side. But it's good, you know why? It form checks you people, innit? People can't kip on that, you get me? So right now, look. Let me just do that again. <laughs> so right now, alhamdulillah, we facilitate a kitchen as well. So if you're a member, you could come in here. We've got a little air fryer. If you have like any meal preps, you know, put it in the fridge, microwave, you know, a little of that, a little washing machine and that. So for your towels after, you're going to see, you know, after satin, satin. Right here, the equipment rack. So obviously we are a calisthenics gym, so the equipment is important for us. And alhamdulillah, that's one thing we want to stand out compared to other gyms. Because when I used to go to these commercial gyms and that, the most stuff that I used to like is the equipment. We would have to buy ourselves. But here, we provide it for the athletes. We provide it for the members. We've got their weighted dip belt, squat belt, medicine balls, ankle weights resistant bands to help you with your stretches and also to help you with your body weight pull-ups and dips etc weighted vest 20 kg and 30 kg and look not not every gym has this by the way that is a 50 kg plate my bro you get me it's very rare alhamdulillah we have that at the muscle basin gym we have calibrated plates they're pro olympic lifting um, plates and we've got about 800 kg worth of plates kettlebell rack well look how mean this looks at it sounds spot and stuff heavy kettlebells you know one reason our gym took long here we want to open up last year but obviously alhamdulillah you know qadr Allah, everything happens for a reason but one thing that i did delay was the bars and that's because we got from germany you know it's custom made big up custom bars they just um, obviously they took time to process but again we got the quality we wanted so it's worth the wait the first time i came across this bars was my first ever competition Carlos Dennis of the Arnold and Walla. As soon as I used the bars when I was doing my pull-ups on my muscle-ups, I love the bar. So we had to get this down. And yeah, man. So bespoke calisthenics bars, you get me? Professional things out here, Ak. Our cardio machine, they hit cardio machine. We've got a roll machine. We've got a treadmill, the manual one. So it goes to your pace. And obviously we've got an air back, a hit back. Whenever I'm doing endurance training or conditioning training, I make sure I implement my cardio. And normally in other gyms, imagine, imagine the cardio machine was here. The pull up bar, the dip bar will be like five minutes away and that will literally mess up the set while I was prepping for the comps. So we make sure we have proper calisthenic bars that like you see these bars in the street. And obviously, you've got to sell the dip bar. When you see a dip bar in a park or like even at other gyms, it's out, it's them like, you know them triangle ones, <laughs> and then even in a park, you see them short one. 
So you have to kind of bend your legs. Whereas this one is perfect height, man. It helps with your form and is basically your comp standard. So obviously when you're competing, you're not surprised. It's the width as well. Look, so we've got two different whips. So we've got this one, it's a bit more narrow. And then we've got this one, which is a bit more um, wide. Because even in comps, bro, they have wide width dip bar and they have a narrow width dip bar. A lot of people don't realise they practice on narrow dip dip bar, vice versa. And then when they go to a comp, it's the opposite one they train for. These small details, we make sure, alhamdulillah, like, we have that, you get me? So that's why like, this gym is like, proper special one. Then I believe this is one of the first specialised calisthenics gym. The way we did it, like, we feel like athletes that want to compete in the future, athletes that want to build a career with calisthenics, this is the gym for them. Or even athletes or like members that want to get into calisthenics, inshallah, this is the gym for them because we will help them out. You know, we have experience, I've like, got a five year experience. Some of the athletes that come and train here, they have experience. My partner, Faimu, he has three, four years of experience. So, Alhamdulillah, we will help with that. So this is why this gym, you know, is a game changer. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell them about the art at your res. Show them the name, bro. You get me? Muscle Basin Gym. We always stick to the roots, bro. We always remember where we started from. Humble beginnings, man. So that's why this painting and this place is always going to be here to remind us from where we came from. You know, how hard we worked. Bro, oh, street worker act, now we've got a gym, you get me, alhamdulillah. So obviously, it's muscle basing gym, you know, that has to be um, the name. And obviously, we've got ego. So the goal here is to have a vision like an ego, you get me? Like, you want your vision has to be always on point, bro. Like, you want sign with life, so look, there's a mountain on top, bro. That's the highest point, you get me? And we want to reach that, you get me, as an athlete, as a Muslim, as members, you know. When whoever comes here, joins here, we want to push them to the to the max, to the highest peak, you get me, they can reach. And obviously the ego came a bit from Khabib and with the Dagestani man. And obviously with the lion, having a mindset like a lion and a heart of a lion. But train with good mindset, bro. Have a heart, bro. Don't give up, you get me? Don't come here one month, you don't see gains, you leave. So that's what reminds people of, innit? Be like a lion, bro. You want to be the king of wherever you go around, innit? But obviously, you know the main king, innit? That's Allah, you get me? Al Malik. So obviously, this is <laughs> the changing room. Come here. Hang your thing, nice cool MBG logo there. We've got a few lo lockers for the members. Shower, it's very important because hygiene is very important. So everyone after your training, make sure you shower, bruv, you get me? We don't want us stinky brothers out here with BO on that, no, I'm joking. So obviously that, and then obviously you have to have a toilet. You get me, fam? And you gotta have a bosma, fam. You know why? Because you have to wash your bum. You don't wipe your bum, bro. You're gonna have bits left. <laughs> I'm joking. Come, come, that was a bit sad. And here, you got some four hammers that you have to go like that. That was nothing bro, he ain't God fam. You can do the same thing, get me? Yo, you man, I forgot one thing bro, that's the most important thing. We provide prayer mats, because this is the main gains act. When it's prayer time, we pray first, you know, we provide prayer mats, man. So we got the ajr and the gains, you get me? Both spiritual and physical. So right now, this is a game changer. And it's been a very big hit for us, alhamdulillah. It's the MBG recovery room. So let me show you what we have in here. Come in, res. You get me? We have a, a bad boy sauna. It's hot bro, you get me? Show them the ice bath. Yeah. So right now it's at six degrees. Just know the coldest shower you have is about 11 to 12 degrees. Wallah, is a game changer. When it comes to performance, when it comes to recovery, this is the one. As I said before, like the athletes that come in here and they want to take calisthenics to that serious level, we make sure we, we facilitate and provide everything they need. And the sauna goes up to 120 degrees. And even in the sauna, you can see charcoal. the little ch charcoal thing in there. Obviously you pour water in there and then look, you pour these, these oils in there and it obviously gives you that nice smell helps you with your breathing and I feel more relaxed. And obviously this is the shower for the room as well. So this room is more, you can do private hire and obviously it is for the members, but when the members want to use it, we have an MBG app. You basically have to book a slot in through the app. So it's like two person at a time. So it's kind of that VIP feeling as well. So yeah, man, that's the recovery room, man. Big up, well hydrate. Um, the providers with the protein, collagen, water, um, with electrolytes. And these are like, if you don't know about collagen protein, obviously your whey protein is good, but collagen protein, there's a lot of benefits to it. And one thing well hydrate does that not many collagen protein companies do is that it's halal. Electrolytes are halal as well. And electrolytes, trust me, is a game changer. Electro electrolytes you have more during training. Again, do your research to it. But if I go into it, the video is going to be too long. But yeah, big up well hydrate. You know, we have, we have a partnership with them. They're very popular, bro. Like literally everyone at the gym, they buy it. I'll literally drink like three, four a day, bro. You get me? So it gets like that. So yeah, man, that's, I think that's almost everything. Do I miss anything out of the gym tour? Obviously, I just managed to do a muscle out to get up here, fam. <laughs> 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 Don't expose, man, bro. Don't expose me. Right now, look, we got a little table. 
when we have our meetings here, um, we can come up here, eat, chill. There's a man in the spawn, there's a little loft, like a man cave, alhamdulillah. A little bed here. When you're tired in the morning shift, you go sleep, <coughs> exposed. Certain man's there, do that. Hey, come, bros, let's sit down. With this gym, as you look, so, sorry, yeah, it is a calisthenics gym. Um, for the past few years, when I've been training calisthenics, competing for calisthenics, prepping for my competitions, other gyms I used to go to, yeah, they were good for weightlifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding. But when it came to calisthenics, yeah, they might have a good pull up bar, but they have a dead dip bar. Yeah, sometimes a gym might have a good dip bar, but they've got dead pull up bars where you can't do a muscle up because of the seating being too low. Alhamdulillah, we literally built this from our passion, for our, from our knowledge, from our experience with calisthenics, alhamdulillah. So obviously, it is three partners. So it's myself, Fahimu, um, the brother you met earlier, my boy, Naimu. Um, I can't complain, and I feel like us three, we get along well. We have the same mindset and the same goal with this. It's important who you do business with. Having good companions and having people and like minded whilst doing business is very important. So alhamdulillah, like, that's why I say I'm like, thank to Allah first. I'm thank to these two brothers, my wallah. They helped me out a lot. They made this possible for me as well. So Allah, big respect to them. Allah, my barim, Allah bless them as well. But inshallah, you lot can take it into consideration. Like, this is from experience. Now, alhamdulillah, I'm a, can you say I'm a little businessman, Riz? You can say so. I can say so, alhamdulillah. But I don't like calling it like, but yeah, I've been, I can say I'm a little businessman, alhamdulillah. We have people that left other gyms and come here, even though they're like powerlifters or like um, bodybuilders or like normal gym goers, innit? I'm going to tell you why. But with this gym, it's special, bro. It's because we make sure that we follow the deen at its fullest, we prioritize the deen with everything we do in this gym. For example, bro, alhamdulillah, we don't listen to music here. No music at all, bro. Wallah, we've been open for like two and a half months. Not one single day we, we've listened to music or we played music at this gym. The majority of the gym, even I know gyms with Muslim owners, bro, they play music, bro. And music is a sin. I don't know what you people think about music. Music is haram. We do not listen to music. Just Nasheed or Islamic podcasts or like Islamic poetry, alhamdulillah. We don't free mix. Right now, it's males only. Even when we do get females or sisters in, we will not let it free mix. We'll be segregated. We have two separate hours for males and females. Yeah, we have to facilitate for the sister requirement. We had a lot of sisters trying to inquire, but obviously we're like, sorry, right now it's a males gym. In our religion, in Islam, free mixing is haram. We're trying to avoid that fitna. So alhamdulillah, this gym it is not a free mix gym. But even for the non-Muslims out there, this is more of like an Islamic principles. And alhamdulillah, it works for us. Let's be honest, bro. Look, when you go to gym, I'm speaking from experience, you go and there's so much fitna around. Bro, and it's hard to keep your eyes down. Let's be honest. The only way you're, you're, you're gonna stop sinning is, is literally not go to the gym no more. But you wanna go to the gym and still train in there. But obviously you always think about, oh, I'm gonna see this, see that. So alhamdulillah, we make sure what we do here is that brothers don't even have to worry about that. Inshallah, in the future, we will be doing women-only hours. We have shutters, we put the shutters down, and we will have a woman PT. So even myself and my two partners, we will not be here. So this way, we stop everyone from sinning. And as I said, no music. No free mixing. When it's prayer time, we make sure we pray, bro. So we make sure we prioritize Salah first. I'll be honest, bro. Like we had a couple of brothers, like they told us they don't pray at home, but when they come gym and they see the environment around and they see the brothers praying, that makes them pray, bro. That's a form of dawah. So alhamdulillah, that's like that's a blessing for us, man. That's why I feel so blessed to be an owner of this gym, alhamdulillah. We're not just facilitating them with sauna, ice bath, and a good calisthenics gym. We're teaching them the importance of Salah. We're making them prioritize Salah over anything. You get me, alhamdulillah. So this gym. It is here to spread the deen. We want to use it as a form of dawah through our action, through the brothers around here. One other thing, bro, is the community here, man. The brothers here, man. Wallahi, bro. Like, you know, in other gyms, when you go, one thing about most gyms is pride, fam. You know, all these people, when they train, they train with pride. When they see you do something bad, they won't even come and help you, bro. Like, imagine you're doing something with a bad form. That's, that can be dangerous. Alhamdulillah, bro. Wallah, we can say at this gym, there's none of that, bro. Even if brother walk in with pride, by the time they leave here, their pride will be gone, fam. You get me? The Prophet Sallallahu says, a man with pride or ego can't enter Jannah, bro. If one brother's struggling, bro, even myself, like, I don't even have to go and help them. There's another brother a member there helping him already. We're building, alhamdulillah, a beautiful community here, man. A beautiful community of brothers. Because every athlete and members that come here, they're, they're on a different level. But they use their experience, they use their knowledge to help, you know, the brother that who needs help. Vice versa, bro. You come and network here, you know, for future stuff. Alhamdulillah, man. Also, these are the beautiful traits and principles of our gym, man, alhamdulillah. And I feel like in this society, especially in the West, it's very hard. You know, you could be doing everything else right, but then when you go to gym, there's so much fitna, man. And the only outcome for you is to, to avoid that fitna and to stop sinning is for you to leave the gym. But then obviously that makes you think, right, if I can't train at a gym, man, what's the point, man? My religion is too hard. It makes you doubt your religion. 
But that's because there's not many businesses that prioritize Islam before society. Bro. This just shows, wallah bro, look, official launch here has been like three weeks. Soft launch we opened around has been about two months, two and a half. Wallah bro, if we wanted to, we could have easily used music, easily let a free make. Because you know how many female members we have that want to inquire. If we let them in and be like, man, oh yeah, we're getting extra money, extra income, it will help us. We could have let that happen easily. Because we stuck true to ourselves, true to the deen bro. Everything for the sake of Allah, wallah, we're seeing the barakah just flushing in like that man. Alhamdulillah man. So that's one thing I want to say from experience of being a business owner. Do your business, especially in the West and in our society, bro. A lot of people compromise their deen to run their business. For example, when you go to a dessert shop, they listen to music. You get me? For example, when you go to a restaurant, they're doing this, they're doing that. They're getting some funny people to promote their stuff. You get me? Alhamdulillah, bro. I can say we avoided all of that, but wallah, our business is still growing. We're still seeing profit. We're still seeing brothers make a difference, bro. Physically and spiritually and mentally, bro. Alhamdulillah, bro. Yeah, for whoever's watching out there, when you do a business and you're a Muslim, make sure you never compromise your deen for your business. Because even that money you get from you compromising your deen, look, I know people are getting bucks, some business, but I'm not going to name them, they're getting bucks. But then when you look, look at the Insta, you know, music, when you look at this, they have this female free mixing, that female mixing. They're getting the money, bro, but does that money have barakah? I'd rather get one pound, but it has barakah, than have, get a thousand pound that has no barakah, bro. But alhamdulillah, man, till here and obviously in the future, we're always going to stick to our morals. We're always going to stick to our Islamic principles. And wallah, we're seeing the barakah, man. And I know, inshallah, Allah is just going to bless us more. Just make dua for us. And yeah, man, that's basically our gym, bro. That's our principles, the morals, why we're different from other gyms, why I opened up this place. It's not just for brothers to come and train calisthenics. You could do that in a park, bro. But at the same time, I want brothers to come and feel like they could come to a gym where they don't have to worry about sinning. You know, they could come to a gym, they don't have to worry about not praying, missing the salah. They come and they don't have to worry about listening to your music, bro. Because all we're doing is playing nasheed and they don't have to worry about the free mixing bit. And that doesn't mean we're not going to facilitate for their sisters. We are. But inshallah, in the future, we're going to make sure it's segregated. So when females come in, they come and train without feeling uncomfortable, without thinking, oh, that guy might stare at me. Because I know sisters, when they go to the gym, they think that sometimes. So even here for the sisters, man, inshallah, like, I hope you look out as well to train here. You feel comfortable here, you feel safe here. That's our gym, bro. You get me? That's the muscle basing gym. That's where it started. You know, it started from the basic movement. Alhamdulillah, man. We're just thinking of growing now. If anyone want to, you know, buy a franchise from us, inshallah, do shout me on my DMs, inshallah, or the MBG page, muscle basing page, or the TBM page, inshallah. Having my own gym at the age of 23. When I first opened up this gym, wallah bro, I can't lie, I was gassed. Then second, third week, alhamdulillah, it's happy, it's, I'm happy to see brothers doing good at my gym, you know, I'm helping brothers, wallah, it's a blessing. But it just makes you think, man, this, this world is just temporary, bro. I feel like getting this place, I'll be fully, I'll be like, yeah, fam, I made it. But wallah, I don't feel like that, bro. I've done shit in life here, you get me? <laughs> but that's why I just pray for that. Inshallah, I just stay content, man. I don't want to chase too much, and inshallah, if I do, um, I have good people around me, man, they'll help me if I'm getting too ambitious. And if I feel like if I'm compromising my deen. Like I'm at a stage right now, man, I want to prioritize deen more, man. You know, I want to learn more of the Quran, memorize more surahs, learn more hadith, learn the footsteps and the sunnah of the Prophet I think these are the big achievements, man. All the Hafiz and the Alims out there, big humans out, man. Allahumma bari from you lot are the real inspiration. Look up to them brothers first, man. Look up to the Prophet as a role model. He's the best role model. He's the best man on earth, bro. Look at the Sahabas. Me, I'm nothing, bro. Alhamdulillah, I'm just a little humble being, you know, trying to make it in the dunya. Inshallah, after this video, uh, I will, I will keep it consistent, man. So please like, comment, subscribe, share. Assalamu alaikum, my people. Take care. Bye.